Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and I'm currently flying through our universe and what you see sparkling through space are essentially very very huge galaxies. These are not stars, these are galaxies and today we're going to talk about one such galaxy that dwarfs them all. If you still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button right now because there are so many more educational videos coming in the future and if you love space, science and math, this is a channel just for you. Welcome to What The Math. And let's actually begin by escaping our own system, moving away from our beautiful Earth and leaving our galaxy as well, because we're actually going to take a trip quite, quite far away to a galaxy known as IC1101. It's actually been discovered hundreds of years ago, but back then we didn't really know it was a galaxy. We thought it was a nebula. We thought it was just a nebula in, uh, in our own galaxy, but we were completely wrong. Because it just so happens that that galaxy is the largest galaxy we have found to date. It is ridiculously big. Now before we start though, let's actually move away from Milky Way and I want to actually show you the size of our Milky Way. So it says di diameter of our own galaxy is approximately 126,000 light years. Now it's actually a lot larger than that because there's a lot of hidden things uh, going on here that we've discovered very recently. But for now, let's just keep this number in mind, 126,000 light years. Uh, Milky Way is actually what's known as an intermediate sized galaxy, uh, specifically an intermediate spiral sized galaxy. And there's actually uh, three main types of galaxies when you, when you were talking about galactic um, types. There's these ones, which are called dwarf galaxies. Uh, these are smaller usually. There are, some of them are only a few hundred light years away. There's intermediate size, which are uh, like our own Milky Way. And there are also some large galaxies that are often known as um, elliptical galaxies that can be even bigger with um, as much as 10 times as many stars and uh, with a lot more mass as well. Now we're going to go to one of these uh, um, elliptical galaxies that we've discovered back in the days. And this is actually Andromeda right there. It's a little bit bigger than our, our own Milky Way. Uh, and so this particular super giant elliptical galaxy is known as IC1101. Now there's quite a lot of IC galaxies as you can see and IC stands for Index Catalog of Nebula and Star Clusters. It was actually started over a hundred years ago and uh, this particular galaxy was discovered um, or cataloged back in 1895 by a person named uh, John Dreyer. But originally it was actually discovered in 1790 by a British astronomer uh, Frederick Herschel um, who actually obviously thought this was not a galaxy but instead it was um, some sort of um, a nebula or possibly some sort of a very bright object. So as you can see, we're actually quite far away from it, um, close to a billion light years away. Um, so we're going to go there right now and we're going to move through our universe toward the spot um, where this particular galaxy is located. And here we go. All right, so we're there now. I'm going to actually just move around here a little bit just to give you an idea of what's actually going on and what you can actually see here. Let's actually move out just a little bit so you can see other galaxies around it. Now, these spots that you see are galaxies. These are actual galaxies. Some of them are as big as our own uh, Milky Way. But that right here in the middle, that's IC1101. It is tremendously huge. Its diameter is 6 million light years. And because this galaxy is known as a diffuse galaxy, um, or I guess super giant diffuse galaxy, we're not even sure how big exactly it is because uh, it seems to have an edge that just keeps extending and extending. Uh, but currently, as it stands, it's uh, approximately 6 um, million light years in diameter, uh, which is something like 60 times bigger than our own Milky Way. Uh, so this is a huge, huge place. This is a tremendously big galaxy that is very, very um, unfamiliar to us and definitely looks very different from our own Milky Way. But let's actually fly into it as well. And let's see what it looks like from the inside of this galaxy, because this is what it's all about. Now, um, because this is such a huge galaxy, uh, we think that it was formed by a collision of many smaller galaxies. And we're actually going to slow down a little bit because we're going a little bit too fast. Let's fly to the center of this giant 
um, and we'll see stars moving across our view as we go to the center of this galaxy. Um, so we think that many different galaxies combined into one over billions of years and created this beautiful creation essentially that is absolutely massive. This is um, one of the biggest objects in our universe. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest and is definitely the most luminous and the most massive galaxy we have found so far. Uh, but once again, we don't really know exactly how big and exactly how massive. We just know that we haven't found anything um, as close to this as, as basically this galaxy. Um, so in the center of this galaxy, you'll notice that it's going to be really hard for us to see everything else. Because it's almost spherical in shape, or we think it's kind of spherical or elliptical. Um, here, being in the center means uh, the stars around you will basically... Um, cover the rest of the uh, rest of your view. So if there is a species of super smart aliens living somewhere in the middle here, it's very likely that they might not actually uh, be able to ever detect us because the stars around them will actually block everything. And they might not even be aware of other galaxies or um, other things outside of their own galaxy because this is their world. It's a world covered in many, 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 many stars. Now we're getting closer to the center here and um, we're actually pretty sure that right in the center of this galaxy there is a definitely a supermassive black hole because we were able to detect its uh, radio signals and uh, um, not just radio signals but obviously things like um, x-rays and gamma rays as well. Uh, but it's very likely that all of this is uh, surrounding a supermassive black hole that's somewhere right here and we can actually try to find it by using Space Engine and we might even be able to go there in a second. Um, but you'll notice that the color in this galaxy is very different from our own. It's very golden-like, um, very almost soupy-like and that's because of the types of stars that are present here. Many supermassive galaxies and many elliptical galaxies don't actually have any new stars. All of these stars here are absolutely ancient. In, in, in other words, uh, all of the stars, almost all of the stars here, are about 7 to 8 billion years older than our own sun. So basically these are stars that are just finishing their life and one day this galaxy might actually completely disappear and become very, very dark because all of these stars will either uh, become dim uh, white dwarfs or become so dark that they will actually not be visible at all. Um, so many of these stars are very rich in metal, they're very um, dim in appearance, and so this makes this galaxy very soupy-like, very yellowish in color, uh, compared to, of course, our galaxy that's very bright and has a variety of different colors. So here, you won't even actually find any nebula, or very unlikely to find many nebula. You're unlikely to find any... Um, uh, star clouds where new stars are being created and so all of this is an ancient ancient world with a variety of different stars. Alright, so we're almost there. Um, we're about 55... Um, or actually, we're not almost there. In comparison to the size of this galaxy, we're almost there, but we're still 54,000 light years away from the center, uh, which is basically like half of Milky Way away. Uh, so we, got, we have to move a little bit closer to the center, and then we're going to try to find the supermassive black hole in the center here. But as you can see, there's a lot of stars. This is trillions and trillions and trillions of stars. So many more stars than in our own um, galaxy. So I'm slowly inching my way toward the center of this galaxy, and there's actually um, a few globular clusters that I've detected so far, uh, which seem to have actually started appearing... Um, out of nowhere and I think right in this cluster right here this is actually where we possibly will find the supermassive black hole. We're going to go inside and see what we can find in there. Uh, this is essentially the central globular cluster where I'm guessing a lot of really ancient stars, a lot of uh, supermassive black holes or possibly at least one supermassive black hole are and we might even be able to see um, things are moving around it if we go right in the middle of it. Let's actually go inside and explore, and um, we'll find out what is in the center of IC1101. And so we're about to enter the ancient world of IC1101 and hopefully discover its ultra-massive uh, black hole in the middle. Uh, now, we might not be able to see it this way because it may have actually not rendered just yet, but as soon as I detect it using the Space Engine Search, um, function, we'll be able to detect it right away. And for some reason, I actually failed to find it using the search, but what I did instead is I inched my way slowly toward the location where 
um, the black hole was supposed to be and it just suddenly appeared in front of me. It was actually kind of terrifying at first because it is so, so big and so, so bright. So let's go and explore it. I've never been here before. This is my first time in IC1101, this, the biggest galaxy that we've found so far. And this is possibly one of the biggest supermassive black holes that we might have discovered as well. So let's uh, check it out. There's, as you can see, there's quite a lot of stars orbiting around it. Um, and uh, there's very likely to be quite a lot of interesting things to see here including obviously the size of that thing look at how big this is it is so much bigger than um our own supermassive black holes sagittarius a and this is very 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 bright very bright look at the size of that um accretion disk it is huge all right so welcome to the supermassive black hole at the center of ic 1101 it is right there in the middle let's go inside check it out and possibly look at some of these stars as well now unfortunately i don't really know uh, how big and how massive this super uh, massive black hole is because it doesn't actually say um in this particular instance but uh what i can tell you is that we can definitely enter it and we can definitely destroy the universe or i guess the universe will just end in front of our eyes as we enter the super massive black hole but let's not do that just yet. Let's actually just get out of here. Uh, it, it does actually take a little bit longer to get out of the supermassive black hole than it does from our own uh, Milky Way. And I am actually having trouble with it. Hey, what is that? Is that a, is that a star? It's not supposed to be here. Um, all right, so let's actually move out of here for a second. And it, it it's surprisingly, um, takes surprisingly longer than it does usually. So here we are. We have this super huge accretion disk orbiting around uh, the supermassive black hole. And uh, look at the number of stars. I'm going to enable orbits here. And you can kind of see how many stars it has orbiting around it as well. As a matter of fact, uh, I can actually show you right here on top of the screen what each of these stars is. Let's actually slow down because it's getting a little bit too slow. And you can kind of see there's uh, so many of them, so many different stars. Many, many of these stars will obviously contain planets. Many of these stars will possibly even contain life. But I don't want to really spend too much time looking for it. I will let you guys do this yourselves, especially if you're interested about this particular system. Uh, and of course, this particular galaxy. But before we finish this video, let's actually take a look at what it, the, all of this may look like from um, one of these systems, from one of these stars that may have planets orbiting around them. So we're just going to kind of stay here for a little bit. I'm going to accelerate time. And this is essentially what it looks like to orbit a supermassive black hole. What it's like to actually live in this particular environment that's probably very, very deadly simply because of the amount of radiation that's released from this uh, really massive object. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say uh, about this system and about this galaxy in this video. And hopefully now you know a little bit more about IC1101. Hopefully you'll go into Space Engine and discover it for yourself. And we're about to go through the accretion disk right here and boom, we're dead. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you still haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button right now because there's so many more educational videos coming in the future. We're now going to escape this system. We're going to um, fly away from here and possibly return home safely. I'll see you guys in the next video. Kim you later. And as always, bye bye. And it turns out that star I was looking at was actually a carbon star. What is the chance of that? These are not very, very common. Anyway, let's get out of here. It's a super massive uh, galaxy that is going to take me a while to get out, of, uh, get out of. And there we go. We're out and flying back home. And you can actually still see it from a far, far away distance, millions of light years away.